Today's video about autophagy. It is I was making already a video about autophagy, but I want to go to more into details because this is very very important uh, uh, direction to and the question is can intermittent fasting and calorie restriction uh, uh, to rejuvenate our bodies help to rejuvenate our bodies this is a big question what should we do okay just uh, again uh, I will tell you the why it is important because nowadays it is uh, very hard times and uh, with these lockdowns and uh, with uh, restrictions and vaccination we have to take care of ourselves, we have to take care of our health and uh, igniting autophagy in, uh, the, uh, through the intermittent fasting is especially important, is especially important uh, for, for us and then this is why I'm doing this uh, video again to understand uh, will it really uh, give us an opportunity to extend, uh, extend, to extend radically our uh, lifespan or not Okay, then just few some information that uh, it was uh, this Japanese uh, scientist in 2016. He got a Nobel Prize for discovery of the mechanism of autophagy. And uh, according to this uh, uh, research, uh, then uh, we can uh, get uh, we can get into autophagy even without change of the diet but it takes quite long if you don't change the diet and uh, autophagy and uh, calorie restriction uh, extends lifespan of mice and small rodents but not for it doesn't work for, uh, so well for uh, for large animals for and for people maximum what we can get it is five maybe ten years of our life but it is good because uh, uh, we will get much better health and we stay, it will extend our health span. So, and uh, again, uh, what is also important that uh, to combine autophagy and to actually to ignite the autophagy with uh, physical exercise and because if we only will starve our, uh, uh, reduce the calorie intake, it is not helpful because this way is not give us uh, extension of the, our life but uh, better combine physical activity together with uh, some methods to ignite autophagy and then it will be much more efficient and uh, we can enjoy it. Okay, so intermittent fasting, uh, that is, uh, there are many ways uh, like eating every other day or fasting for longer than 36 hours per week or for longer than 3-5 days per month even without changing the diet, so combining carbohydrates, combining with proteins and fats, it already uh, this uh, will give you some start of autophagy. And uh, but problem is that autophagy becomes less efficient with age, and we need some additional efforts to get it. Then uh, again, it is uh, important information I want to go inside. First, we have to understand that molecular mechanism to start the autophagy is so-called MAPK activation. It is uh, some sensors in our cells that they measure amount of glucose and amino acids. And if, we, if these levels are low, then uh, MPK channel is activated. It blocks mTOR uh, pathways. mTOR it is mammalian target of rapamycin. So it is the way to see, to produce proteins. It is blocked, uh, and then we are going to, in some steps to autophagy. Autophagy is self cleaning of our cells. So, and there are a few mechanism of uh, autophagy. I can uh, go here, and there is in, in in a general three methods. It is macro autophagy. Uh, the Shaper Shaperon uh, mediated uh, autophagy and the micro autophagy. The simplest is uh, micro autophagy. It is uh, that uh, we have such uh, sex with, I mean, some envelopes or, or, or vehicles in the cells uh, which have double structured, double way. I don't know, maybe I will look at the picture. We have the, some, this, this is the uh, liposome. And uh, then uh, inside we have acidic, acidic environment, acidic, uh, acidic media with enzymes. And uh, whatever is crossing the plasma membrane, 
this uh, double uh, uh, phospholipid layer, then it gets to inside and then it gets to it gets digested, so split it to, par to parts and from proteins we are getting amino acids and uh, from lipo, uh, lipo, uh, li lipoproteins we also get some parts which can we, we use uh, for, to uh, produce energy or to build uh, some uh, important uh, parts of our cell. And most complicated it is this area, this protein mediated, uh, uh, chaperone, pardon, chaperone uh, mediated uh, autophagy, uh, chaperones are special, very, very big proteins and they, are, they work very special, they like a basket, uh, it's structure like basket, it gets uh, protein inside and check uh, its uh, validity, uh, is it uh, working well or not, if not, it is uh, marking this uh, protein with some uh, small uh, protein as a mark and it, it prepares this protein for macro autophagy. Macro autophagy is, sense, is uh, sensing for these marks and then if we, it has uh, organella or a big protein with these marks, then, uh, then we have a creation of this sphere, of this uh, uh, phosph of, uh, uh, phagophore, phagophore around this object and then eventually this uh, sphere or vagophora gets merged together with uh, lysosome and, uh, and then in the lysosome there is uh, this digestion of the, of the uh, this organelles and splitting it to parts and actually recycling, recycling of it. So it is quite complicated per protein. We know not so much about how it works. It's very, very complicated area. So we have to understand it again and uh, maybe I will come to, to this uh, autophagy again somewhere. But what, 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 what is important? So there are different levels of autophagy and if uh, the cell is, uh, has no nutrients or amino acids and, and bacteria and uh, glucose, then it can go to some advanced level of autophagy which is not healthy. So instead of cleaning of the cell, it is uh, it, is, uh, it is using any proteins in the uh, uh, cytoplasm to because uh, there are some goals of high priority like in zombie cells it is producing this SASP, senescent associated secretive phenotype, so uh, to produce this uh, toxic uh, proteins, toxic signal proteins, uh, the autophagy is using even proteins which are necessary for the zombie cells. So it again, it's uh, and also uh, if we are in such, uh, if we are fasting too long, we can get to this advanced uh, level of autophagy and we can damage our body. We can uh, increase uh, rate of uh, aging. So it is not good. So there should be some balance. Okay, then uh, you can please. Uh, what I want to remind you that instead of listening this my not so well pronounced English. And uh, I'm not reading the presentation, but much easier, much uh, more efficient. Just download the presentation. You will get uh, the links uh, in, the, in the description. Click on them, download PDF file, and then you will get access to, uh, to sources. And you will probably read and understand the, the material, the, the subject much better than uh, listening. Okay, then okay, you can look. And uh, also what we are getting then um, in, the, in, uh, in age, we, as we are aging, we can get autophagy dysfunction. It is more and more difficult to ignite the autophagy. And uh, it's also that if autophagy doesn't work, it leads to human, to some diseases, including uh, accelerated aging, cancer development, new, neurodegenerative diseases, heart disease, metabolic disorders, such as diabetes uh, type 2, etc. So, and, uh, so we, we need more efforts, more efforts to ignite autophagy because again, to keep it at some level, it is better. And for this, uh, I believe that what we have do, uh, to do first, it is change the diet to carnivore diet because we need a lot of proteins and only carnivore diet uh, will provide us enough proteins and we have to get in older age 1.6 gram per kilo of weight 
of the dry protein. It is, uh, if we, we recalculate uh, to meat, meat has about 15% of dry protein. Then we will get a lot of protein, it is a lot of meat. And then it is like uh, close to one kilo of meat for me. And I cannot eat so, so much actually. And so that again, if I eat only meat, and uh, then I just have no, no place uh, in, my, in my body, and uh, it is too much energy if I will con additionally consume fat or carbohydrates. So I, I'm, yeah, it is naturally I am restricted to carnivore diet and to eat lean meat with not so much fat. And as uh, I use uh, fat as source of energy instead of proteins, I use my stored fat. And then it is actually the goal to, re to remove uh, the, uh, the, the, the fat and to because we have a lot of toxins in the adipose tissue. Okay, and then again, if we change uh, to this carnivore diet uh, and we will get uh, energy from burning of fat, then autophagy can be ignited already after 13-15 hours of fasting. So much easier. Instead of 24-32 uh, hours uh, for normal diet, it is much uh, shorter time necessary. And also, uh, what is absolutely uh, important, we have to stop uh, use the uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids. This is the vegetable oils. Why? Because these uh, lipo, uh, uh, liposomes, the liposomes, pardon, lysosomes, lysosomes, lysosomes cannot uh, digest uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, oxidated polyunsaturated fatty acids. And these, these polyunsaturated fatty acids accumulate in the cytoplasm first and then in lysosomes. And then uh, we have so-called uh, lipofusin. Fu fu Lipofusin, it, it's like granules of uh, some material. It is uh, like pigment. It is brown color, brown, uh, 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 white brown color. It accumulates in, in the cells which divide slowly like our neurons and uh, nerve cells and also other cells which are like uh, uh, leukocytes, leukocytes, uh, leukocytes, how to pronounce. Okay, then it is, again, it is damaging our immune system, it is damaging our brain, system, brain and uh, nerves, uh, nerves, nerves. Uh, so we should avoid it at any cost, uh, without the problem to, uh, to uh, get rid of the lipo, uh, lipofuscin, it's not very easy, it's, there are some medications that probably can help, but it takes up to 10 years to reduce the amount of uh, unsaturated poly, polyunsaturated uh, fatty acids in your, from your body, even if you stop consuming uh, vegetable oils and will do uh, fasting and uh, some physical exercise to do it. So it takes very, very long, and, but it is absolutely necessary uh, uh, to use autophagy and to remove this uh, lipofuscin from body. Yeah? As I said, this is the cheap vegetable oils. Stop to use them. And then they accumulate in the neurons. And uh, you see this uh, b uh, blue color, the grains of the, uh, uh, this uh, the color is changed. It is normally brown, like here, it is, you see the normal color. But here it is uh, fluorescent. fluorescent uh, we, we, we see them in uh, outer violet. And then we see how many uh, granules of uh, lipofuscin are accumulated inside the, our neurons, and this is one of the uh, one, one of the causes which, what, why we have uh, memory uh, the, uh, memory not functioning, why we have this newer de degenerative diseases like Parkinson, Alzheimer. Of course, in the center of this uh, diseases is a diet uh, based on uh, glucose as source of energy. And uh, because uh, high level of insulin and uh, glucose in blood ignites more uh, production of more glucose. So you can read it and uh, it, it ignites lipid peroxidation in mitochondria. It ignites uh, more production of more uh, active uh, uh, reactive oxygen species. And so it is damaging mitochondria and it, it, it leads to accumulation of the senescent cells. So it is disaster. It is complete disaster to use uh, this polyunsaturated fatty acids and together with uh, glucose as a main source of energy. 
get rid of it. Stay in old age on uh, proteins that carnivore diet. Also very important uh, uh, that part of the autophagy, it is mitochondrial autophagy and it has, it has separated this to special um, I mean, subject, to special uh, section of the science. So I will not go into details, but it is very, very important to, uh, to keep it healthy because and again what we have, we have damage of mitochondria by reactive oxygen species and it should be uh, as low as possible and the way is uh, to use fat, saturated fat as a source of energy and uh, also ketonic body uh, as a source of energy and then it will be a fewer uh, reactive oxygen species and the uh, aging will be slowed down. Not to forget that uh, cancer cells and uh, senescent cells or zombie cells they use as main source of energy glucose and glucose in mitochondria as i said generate uh, reactive oxygen species first and then also these uh, cancer cells and uh, senescent cells they use uh, anabolic way of uh, to get energy it is without oxygen it is very fast way uh, so it is uh, get uh, production of uh, the pyruvic acid from glucose and then pyruvic acid gets converted to lactic acid and the result of the lactic acid that you have high acidity inside the, uh, the cytoplasm of the cells and also uh, between the cells. So it, this acidity disrupts uh, the, uh, the metabolism in the neighboring uh, 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 cells and turns them together with this SASP, senescent associated secretive phenotype, it turns them to intersedescent uh, cells. So it is spreading like infection, it is contagious. Okay, so uh, yeah, so we have to do something with acidity and I will uh, pay attention a little bit later. I give you so very, very easy and, and very cheap uh, uh, way uh, to reduce uh, acidity in your cells and to improve your health. Okay, as I said, uh, uh, reactive oxygen species are important, mitochondria, blah, blah, blah. So it's again, uh, please read it, read it, because I just don't want to, uh, to waste your time uh, on reading the presentation if you can read it yourself. And again, in all the age uh, to ignite meto uh, autophagy, we need maybe some uh, medications and uh, dietary supplements. And medication uh, can, can, uh, can include metformin. Metformin uh, already proven that it is safe. I use it myself and uh, also with berberine. Berberine is a uh, yeah, natural product, but again, uh, it, it works. We have to ignite, uh, additionally ignite the autophagy with uh, uh, taking metformin. And uh, also, okay, as I said, uh, quercetin, curcumin, apigenin, berberine, and uh, that's uh, other, some other quercetin. Quercetin are, are very, very efficient. Uh, physetin, physetin, I forgot. Physetin are very powerful uh, med, uh, components which ignite to help uh, to ignite uh, autophagy. Even aspirin can help to ignite autophagy. This is again very cheap way, and uh, but be careful not to take more, more than 100 milligram a day. And uh, there are also uh, uh, sper, uh, sper, spermidine, spermidine, spermidine uh, such substance which also you can buy as a supplement and also ignites autophagy. So you can find, please read and uh, you will find in the internet with Google uh, the supplements you can uh, order, uh, try them. And, uh, but not forget that to ignite autophagy you, it's better to uh, change the diet and to use uh, intermittent fasting. So, for example, I am uh, uh, I am eating once a day or maybe twice a day, mostly once a day, and it is more than enough for me because I, I, I go uh, in, in later on about this. This is a really easy way how to improve your body functioning. Okay, regular exercises at morning. If I wake up. Instead of breakfast, I can go exercise, and this is uh, during my best days. I, at morning, I go cycling for two, three hours, and then it, it gives me boosting of autophagy. And also, it is very important because when I, I am burning fat, uh, uh, adipose tissue, 
uh, from my body. Uh, then uh, I have a lot of toxins from my previous life a lot of toxins are stored in the adipose tissue and when these toxins are getting to my blood stream because uh, I'm burning fat and then I can get um, a toxicosis and to reduce the level of toxicosis there are one way one way is just reduce rate of uh, this uh, fat burning and you can drink coffee with uh, coconut or with ghee uh, with piece of butter good butter so it it it, it slow down it will slow down burning of your accumulated fat but uh, it is okay it is okay but if you go uh, for exercises then you remove these toxins uh, because you're breathing deeply and intensively and then you remove uh, from lungs uh, uh, remove these toxins like benzene and some hydrocarbons which are toxic and other stuff uh, and so it helps when you go to exercises uh, i don't feel any toxicosis but if i am not doing exercise at morning then i can get this toxicosis and it's not no nice so i have to drink coffee with uh, uh, coconut oil or just to take a gulp of coconut oil a little bit and uh, um, physical exercises at during fasting they improve uh, uh, the release of growth hormone which is absolutely important also it improves uh, uh, burning of to uh, removal of toxin as i said and it ignites uh, more intense autophagy so this is the way this is the way to go and it is easy it is actually fun uh, what is uh, also important i would to, to say that if you eat once a day or twice a day you have to stop eating four hours or better six hours before your uh, bedtime because you need uh, this uh, cleaning of your stomach from uh, nutrients and because you have to you have to get already to kind of autophagy already to start uh, close to this because if uh, you sleep uh, not not soon enough after eating then uh, your rejuvenation uh, then your repairs of your tissues goes much more efficient so you need you need this interval, time interval between a uh, last meal and uh, bedtime. So I probably I should I normally use uh, six hours. Like I eat once a day, like one of, from one o'clock to two o'clock afternoon, and then I have from two o'clock to ten o'clock eight hours of fasting. So it is more than enough to ignite, uh, so to remove these nutrients and then to get to the best cleaning uh, cleaning stage. Okay, again, what is, again, exercises are good for us to keep us healthy, but they will not rejuvenate our body. They just, we need it just to enhance autophagy. That's all. This is the purpose. It may give us uh, good feelings and uh, better health, but uh, the only way to rejuvenate us and the only way to extend our lifespan considerably is this is analytics. About analytics, I'm, I, I will talk, I talk already. In some videos and we'll talk later on probably i use some analytics again as a test so some work better some some don't work but again i i need time to decide for myself what is personally for me works the best but certainly i i'm pretty sure that analytics work and this technology will be available commercially in three maybe five years first for very rich people and then other people can get access to it Okay, and then again, autophagy again does not extend our life. It is not rejuvenated, uh, rejuvenated us, but it is extending health span. It is uh, keeping us healthy. We feel much better and we not getting this uh, age related diseases like Parkinson, uh, Alzheimer and uh, diabetes and uh, uh, the, the heart diseases, all this uh, what people suffer, also uh, arthritis and all, all the stuff so it's again very very important and uh, what else uh, heat shock heat shock uh, also uh, improves uh, the autophagy so like uh, at morning you w wake up and you take a douche with cold and warm water to change uh, first warm and then cold water or just uh, splashing your body with cold water icy water especially good or you go uh, afternoon uh, not so not so uh, late uh, for sauna and then it is again you're removing toxins 
you in enhance the level of autophagy. Yeah, that's again, you can read it so again that exercises in older age are absolutely necessary, but don't overdo it. You have to, um, if you are running mar marathon, it, marathon it's, it's not good for you. It's just a few hours of walking or a few hours of uh, aerobic, in, uh, intense aerobic exercises, like I'm riding a bicycle, I'm getting a lot of fun with this, it's not so difficult. I'm, I, I go quick, but yet it is, uh, I'm not pushing myself to the limit. Or sometimes I, I get this high intensity interval training, but it's, it's for a short while. And, but because we have to avoid uh, development of sarcopenia, this uh, protein uh, intake plus exercises will keep us from uh, development of sarcopenia in old age. And as I said, it is absolutely important to get rid of the uh, adipose tissue. To, rem to remove the toxins because toxins uh, make your life uh, shorter and nothing good in it. So again, uh, please uh, don't be in so much in hurry because again, it may, may take a lot, long time, a long while uh, to remove these toxins and polyunsaturated fatty acids. Uh, some, so go slowly. If you have toxicosis, slow down this uh, rate of the uh, toxin removal, so take some butter or ghee or some other fat, fat, fat from uh, animal fat and, or coconut oil also work very well. So it will make you feel better and you enjoy life and uh, better. So the, the, all the purpose of the uh, life extension is to enjoy your healthy life, to stay healthy and to enjoy it. Okay, so it's again, it's uh, nobody wants to be uh, sick and they live uh, and they suffer a lot from this uh, age-related diseases. It's, it's, I want to rejuvenate my body. I want to go to level when I was in 40s, in my early 40s, uh, and then to keep this for 100 years or maybe 600 years. Okay, then, yeah, I just was telling a little bit about infection, about inflammation and uh, what is the yeah, interesting example, interesting information which we, we probably uh, have to follow. There are many species of bats uh, that live much longer than other mammalian species of their size, uh, like rodents, and uh, they show few signs of uh, senile degradation during their lifetime. And uh, these bats are very special, are very special. They, they have they exhibit very high level of autophagy. For us, it is like a hint what should we do to extend our lifespan. So because uh, they have not only increased level of autophagy in, uh, in bats, in, yeah, the bats have not only increased level of autophagy, but what is interesting, so that the level of autophagy not, uh, does not decrease, uh, but increase with age. So in in humans, autophagy grow, uh, is just turning off and we are getting these diseases. In bats, it is quite opposite. Autophagy is, rate is increasing. And this is why they are physically active. They don't have any senile degradation. And, and this we, we have to follow. So it's again, uh, for us, we are genetically different. So we have to use some medications and dietary supplements and exercises and this uh, heat short, uh, shock and uh, some cold, icy cold water, uh, holding breath and, and so other, other ways to in, enhance uh, the autophagy. But we, we better do it because it's actually fun. And uh, about also they produce uh, many natural antioxidants in the, in the body. So these beds are quite interesting species. Yeah, so okay, okay. Then uh, I will just go well, with uh, so autophagy really works well to extend our health span, so we stay healthy for longer. But then if we prepare our body, if we clean uh, our body from toxins, we can go to the next step. This step is removing uh, of uh, senescent cells in us and uh, you can, uh, we can repeat this procedures uh, every uh, some three, maybe six, uh, six months. And then we will get uh, unlimited, oh, maybe 600 years of uh, lifespan. 
Okay, so yeah, what, what I was in, uh, wanted to, to say, it is very interesting. Um, I was telling already this, just want to get it, uh, to it again because it's so important. It, it, it works amazingly well for me, for, for example, uh, at least. So we know that acidity level in our blood is tightly regulated. It should be a narrow range, like 7.37, 7.44. So it is a little bit um, uh, basic, but maybe a little bit. So it is not acidic. But inside cells, in, in the extracellular matrix, the acidity level can may differ from optimal level one. Because why? Because cancer and zombie cells, they receive energy primary from uh, this, uh, from glucose and especially from anabolic uh, conversion of glucose into lactic acid. As lactic acid is increasing, the acidity level in, in, in the cells is above, so it is too high acidity, we have high acidity. Then it leads to disruption, disruption of mitochondria and generation of reactive oxygen species, pardon me. Then uh, other cells, healthy cells, also in this uh, environment, they uh, get uh, into zombie state. And what is more, imp more dangerous is that uh, this acidic environment ignites metastasis of the cancer. Because some cancer want to get uh, less acidic environment and they just move, move uh, to other tissues and then all your body get uh, uh, this metastasis and the people die uh, not from one cancer, one tumor development, they uh, die from metastasis and then uh, con control of acidity is the way to keep us from metastasis to avoid the cancer development. And how to do it? It's very easy, very, very easy. I was, there were two videos on this subject already. I, in one video I was mm, talking about uh, this AKG, alpha ketoglutaric acid, and salts of alpha glutaric acid. That they are, uh, some one company was uh, producing it and selling it very expensive, like two gram of this uh, calcium uh, salt of alpha ketoglutaric acid is, uh, will take you two American dollars if you recall it correctly. And uh, but much better results, much better results. Can be uh, can you get you can get from citric acid? Why? Because citric acid. Just let me look a little bit. Just where it is. Sorry. Huh? Where is my slide? Disappeared. Sorry. Okay. Look at uh, somehow I I didn't make <laughs> I didn't make the slide uh, only in Russian version. Okay. I don't know how it it was lost. But okay. W w what I would uh, want to tell uh, about balancing of this uh, acidification. So uh, citric acid is uh, oxidized in uh, the Krebs cycle, in the, this uh, cycle of burning, uh, of getting energy. And when uh, carbon, uh, uh, the citric acid is burning, uh, citric acid has three base acid. Three base acid, it means it can uh, keep three nitrogen atoms, nitrogen atoms. So it is salt of citric acid, it, is, it has three nitrogen at, uh, ions, yes? And then when it is burning, it is uh, getting converted to uh, this ITG, to, uh, to this alpha ketoglutaric acid, but alpha ketoglutaric acid only ha two, uh, it can keep only two uh, sodium atoms, yes? Let me look just why, why, why I don't see it. Strange. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Maybe I should I should uh, change presentation. So okay, and then you will have presentation with correct slides. Okay. Please, please uh, download the presentation. I will do it correctly. And there. So then, uh, when you so one uh, ion of sodium is released, and then this one ion of sodium can react with with uh, uh, lactic acid and it will neutralize the lactic acid. So it will compensate release of the uh, lactic acid in uh, cancer cells and zombie cells, and then it will keep uh, acidity under control. Of course, our uh, healthy cells also can use uh, this uh, anabolic way to, uh, to get energy because uh, in, uh, for high intensity interval training, our body gets to this um, uh, anabolic way to get uh, the, the energy. And uh, yeah, it is actually good, good, short, short, uh, stay, short 
uh, increase in acidity is good, but uh, if it is chronic acid acidification of the tissues, it, it ignites cancer development, it, it ignites metastasis, it ignites increased uh, or enhanced uh, 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 aging rate, nothing good. So, and again, why, so, so the citric acid works much, much better than alpha ketoglutaric acid. First, uh, acetic acid gets converted to alpha ketoglutaric acid. Second, uh, this uh, uh, acidic acid works as antioxidant, one. And second, it uh, releases this uh, sodium atom, sodium ion, and then it, comp it keeps balance uh, of acidity inside the cell. Because again, if your uh, 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 cytoplasm is acidic or acidic uh, uh, pH, then and uh, liposomes are uh, uh, liposomes uh, uh, are damaged with um, uh, with uh, reactive oxygen species and then eczemes from uh, 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 this uh, lysosomes pardon lysosomes can can escape to to cytoplasm and then they can damage the nucleus and if they will damage nucleus then we will get uh, that uh, mutation of the of the cell and maybe we will get uh, cancer cells. So it is very dangerous. That acidification uh, is very, very dangerous, especially if it is chronic, if it is chronic uh, oxidation. And also prices are so, so uh, incompatible. So I, yesterday I ordered seven kilo of citric acid, probably too much, but I use citric acid uh, not, not only as supplement, it is used just to remove some stain, uh, stains, and uh, I use it for cleaning and uh, I need it for other stuff, for other uh, projects. So I, but I ordered uh, even at high, if you buy at high amount, it will be cheaper, but it's already uh, one kilo, two American dollars. So one kilo uh, of, uh, of citric acid you will get to, for two American dollars, but two gram of uh, salts of this uh, calcium uh, salt of alpha ketoglutaric acid, it will take you five American dollars. So it is incredible, so <laughs> absolutely <laughs> incompatible. But again, as I said, citric acid works better. For example, if I eat, um, some days I eat eggs, only eggs, nothing more. And uh, like seven eggs, I cannot eat more. Some uh, bodybuilders, they can eat up to 30 eggs. Well, it's, uh, it's good for them. I cannot eat so much, I just cannot. Even if I have intensive exercises, maybe I'm getting old, but I cannot eat so much. I eat once a day, uh, seven eggs, and if I finish this meal with one, two gram of citric acid, or lemon juice also will work, but citric acid uh, to me more convenient, and then I have no hunger, uh, I'm more uh, satiated, I have a higher satiety, and uh, feelings are better, and uh, I feel uh, myself a little bit better. Uh, but what is more important, I have no hunger. I don't want to eat again, because before, if I was keeping such a uh, diet, like eating eggs, in five, six hours, there was some feelings that maybe I need some more protein to eat, or like this, I don't know. But now it is nothing, nothing, seven eggs. And uh, seven eggs, it is cheap. It is, and I tell, it's one American dollar. Seven eggs in in here. I, I buy duck eggs. They are more expensive, but they are much better quality. And it is Ameri one American dollar for seven eggs. One American dollar per day enough for, for to get food and all nutrients and all vitamins because eggs have almost everything what we need. Plus some uh, supplements which I use, use like metformin and and um, quercetin, other stuff, vitamins. Yeah, but. I, I use them anyway, but, but again, it's amazing, amazing uh, how uh, much better I get uh, the digestion of proteins. And uh, to keep uh, my guts also healthy, I, I supply uh, resistant starch as a prot uh, potato starch is the best. So you have to, I, I eat, uh, I consume twice a day, minimum 50 gram uh, a, a portion. Uh, this resistant starch to keep my guts healthy. So because I need this friendly bacteria, beneficial bacteria to grow in there and they produce uh, short chain fatty acids which uh, are necessary to keep epithelium of my guts uh, in healthy condition. So 
I don't have this uh, syndrome of leaky guts uh, because of I, I take care of the of the of this uh, bacteria. Okay, so it's again it's you see it is cheap, it is affordable. Even if I do not do I I don't want to uh, disclose uh, what synalytic sign I, I try. Again, you can find maybe in literature this information, or maybe it is uh, quite limited information because uh, some uh, synalytics are relatively toxic. It is chemotherapy, it is the same uh, substances which are used for chemo chemotherapy of cancer. And they kill selectively, but not cancer cells, uh, but uh, senescent cells. But some, some uh, these chemotherapy drugs, they kill both cancer cell and analytic cells. But again, toxicity is a question and before uh, they use uh, these substances, uh, yeah, you have to be sure. You have to be sure taking risk is not worthwhile. Like I use it, but I, I think a word before I try it and I will never give any medical advice. I try it on myself, I take responsibility and again I am very very cautious. And again, it sometimes works, sometimes not. Sometimes it is amazing boost of energy, amazing feeling that uh, you uh, feel my, yourself much younger. The only problem with my skin, yet uh, skin rejuvenates slowly. It takes time. I have to take care about this. I will do it. But well, but what does, what else? What I have to, I want to give some tips uh, about pre practicing intermittent fasting. So. When you are fasting, drink plenty of water because it reduces appetite and promotes elimination of toxins from the body. Now in Taiwan it's past 38 and uh, so I drink in maybe 4 or 5 liters of, uh, of water a day. And uh, acidific acidifying uh, the water with lemon juice, uh, make it uh, taste better and also I, I drink cold water. First because it is so hot and drinking cold water is just uh, nicer. And second, uh, then to reduce the loss of muscle uh, with single meal as I, pardon me, as I practice uh, one meal a day, uh, what I do now, I decided uh, after this, uh, I have to prepare this uh, presentation, but also uh, before I use it, but now I use it consciously, so I know I have to do it. I take bone broth, bone broth uh, and I drink this bone broth, maybe a glass of this bone broth or whatever is available, maybe 10 minutes before the uh, big meal, so I, I, this, I, I heat it in micro oven and then I have time to prepare the meal, it's a uh, meal with uh, meats or, or eggs, and uh, so I can drink this bone broth, also if I eat uh, eggs I, I, I I, I drink bone broth before and during the, the eggs and because also the bone broth has uh, 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 electrolytes which I, we need and uh, but again you have to little bit extend your mm, dinner or your meal so that like you drink uh, first you drink bone broth maybe 10 minutes or longer uh, then you start eating meat but uh, pay attention that uh, yeah, the, uh, the digestion of meat takes time, minimum 3-4 hours and it is good because our stomach always in, in motion and all the liquid uh, phase is uh, getting out so we are getting this amino acids all time so from start of the, uh, we drink uh, the bone broth and in one hour we are getting amino acids and then the digestion goes slowly and we for 3-4 hours and if we drink a lot of water along the, with eating high protein foods it even takes 5-6 hours so, so for quite long we have a uh, time when mTOR is activated when the synthesis and the growth of muscles is activated and we need it and we need it also you can use a, a spoon of honey to ignite to give uh, the insulin uh, a uh, high level peak of uh, release of uh, insulin because again to uh, to ignite the mTOR you need two substances it is insulin glucose and uh, this uh, third one is uh, amino acids okay so you if you supply it if you ignite it then it, it is it's helpful also after intense uh, physical activity protein intake is required it's just it's, 
you have, you have to do it. And the easy way it is just to take one broth or milkshake with the whey protein powder and uh, it is the best. Oh, just drink a uh, broth, uh, maybe a yeah, few pieces of uh, meat. And uh, other uh, protein supplements also very helpful. If you have, uh, you can buy it, yeah, buy it, okay. Uh, what else? Avoid cold foods, cold milk, uh, cold meat, and uh, because cold food reduces the absorption of protein and leads to release of toxins in the intestines, okay. So it is, uh, you have to take care of better digestion. And so eat warm food, warm food, so warm and both warm milk and that's uh, also eggs uh, better not cook, not fr frozen but okay if you, if you boil it there's a uh, warm uh, also if your body already adapted to use saturated fatty acid as a main source of energy then a cup of black, black coffee with ghee or coconut in the morning instead of bre breakfast will reduce the level of toxins because at morning after long fasting, you, this, as I said, you will get this toxicosis at some advanced stages of uh, rules and fat. And then uh, it is maybe not comfortable to you, so you slow down a little bit this process. No, no need to suffer too much or you go to exercises, this is the best way. Uh, or before we go, exercise is also very, very helpful. If you will take DHEA, I was telling about this, and also some uh, butter, piece of butter, lump of butter, or gulp of coconut oil. Then, okay, about uh, stored fat. If you are burning it, it's already I have 66 kilo, but I want to re uh, get rid maybe a few kilo more to remove the toxins from my body, completely clean it up. Then, uh, then I, what I take, I uh, buy, I, I bought uh, betaine, betaine, betaine. And also you have to increase number of eggs in the diet. So uh, uh, the eggs are a good source of choline. Choline is uh, absolutely good for your health. And then just eat more eggs, okay? If you eat meat, maybe eat, combine it with eggs, fried eggs. If you are retired also and if you have uh, free time, then uh, if you can get to countryside and grow your own food, it is absolutely recommended. I, uh, in past, I grew my, my, myself um, oyster, oyster mushrooms and uh, keep, kept uh, weighing hens, about 20 hens, and I was growing every day uh, two kilos, about two kilos of mushrooms. It was, I we was selling the excess. And I was eating this very good quality uh, eggs from, from my hands because I was feeding them quite well. I raised catfish also, but uh, it was not so interesting experience. And I keep bees till now. Till now I have 30 colonies of bees. So I have honey and I sell honey and um, also I, I eat myself uh, drone brood. Drone brood is uh, good for health. It is full of uh, hormones and it is a good source of proteins. And um, yeah, so if you cannot do anything of like this, at least buy a dog or any other pet. So you, you a dog is the better because uh, you, it is a, a, an additional motivation for physical activity, just walking the dog uh, outdoors regularly. And uh, of course, pets reduce stress level. And what is even more important, dogs and other pets help to maintain healthy gut microbiome, especially dogs. Because if dogs eat the same food as you eat, they are much more balanced, they are much more healthy in, in a sense of uh, microbiome. And if you play with these dogs, don't wash your hands, don't sterilize uh, this is because it's stupid, you, <coughs> you will get this healthy uh, bacteria to as seeds, as seeds to get healthy microbiome for yourself, okay? So this is, uh, the same, uh, the same will, will be with children. Children have healthy uh, gut, healthy gut, healthy microbiome. And if you play with children, kiss them, hug them, and uh, get in contact, uh, hugging, it gives you this bacteria. No need to this uh, to eat excrements of kids. I don't know. It's some doctors propose eat excrements or make capsules with excrements. It's just I cannot, I cannot take it.
But again, no need, no need. Just kiss, uh, just play with your pets and uh, kiss your uh, grandson grand, uh, or granddaughter and it will g keep you healthy, okay? This is why I always was in favor of large families and nowadays it is when this um, lockdowns and everything is done that uh, this elderly people will die as soon as possible and it is disaster, okay? So the conclusion is such that intermittent fasting and autophagy do not significantly extend your lifespan but improve health and feelings of the well-being because you feel yourself much better, much uh, younger. And uh, autophagy, uh, you absolutely need to, uh, to practice out of autophagy and intermittent fasting for a year or better two and to do it at least two times a week, uh, it is uh, to prepare your body for rejuvenation. Because in case of rejuvenation, you are killing uh, senescent cells. And if you have many uh, senescent cells, and if you kill, some uh, senolytics kill 90% of senescent cells. The, and imagine then uh, like a few percent of your body cells are senescent cells, and you kill a few percent of your uh, body with analytics, what will be? You will be dead. You will be dead because uh, so much toxins will, will go to your bloodstream, you will not survive it. So you have to first to uh, remove toxins to prepare your body and to get a uh, number of senescent cells to some re reasonable level and then maybe then only think about the use of analytics. This is absolutely important uh, subject. As I, and as I said, resistant starch, instead of uh, using vegetables and fruits like other doctors, uh, medical doctors advice, again, my experience, don't do it, okay? I was doing farming here. I have, uh, I used to have at least 10 uh, hectares of farming lands. On farming land, I was growing such cash crops and we were spraying a lot. I was trying without spraying, but then no profit okay, at all. You, if you want to get profit, and farmers certainly uh, get, try to get profit for, from the business, you have to spray these herbicides or other toxic substances, and then, then it is, <laughs> I would never eat these cash crops myself, okay? Then again, uh, the workers who work with this spraying were getting, losing consciousness because it is so toxic. And then you buy uh, fruits which are full of uh, these uh, toxic substances. And then you feel, and like I was buying, I, I, I used, uh, I, there was a friend, they were they are growing uh, some vegetables like cucumbers, and I, I used to buy uh, from them cucumbers because just to support him. But I was getting so sick after this, every time. Then I said, okay, I, I love this man, but I have to keep my body uh, healthy, so I stopped to do it. I, I buy only meat. Okay, then again, this is only information. I just share my experience. Uh, I don't, I'm not supposed to give any uh, advice and uh, maybe I use some uh, pictures, but as I'm not getting any financial profit from this, then I don't worry patent law. And again, I am doctor, I'm a doctor in physics and science. Uh, why I do these uh, videos, why I go with this? Because it, it, it helps me to structure the, uh, the knowledge and to remember it better and to, uh, to learn it very quick because I want to uh, get to solution very quick and uh, then I use this video so these videos are for me, for myself this after talking, uh, writing and uh, working with these uh, videos I remember this better okay, even again, I, I, and I, a lot of information, a new information and it takes years, years and years uh, young, of younger uh, students to learn this uh, medical profession and I'm doing the very, very short, in much shorter time, much shorter, okay? But okay, I'm a quick learner, this is what I do and this is my way to, to go and uh, it's not first time that I'm changing the, the my direction of my research. I'm pretty sure I will <clears throat> get some interesting proposals, interesting uh, solution of the problem of rejuvenation. But Ask your personal physician, as I said, or they always say, I am not giving you any medical advice, and especially related to senolytics. Senolytics can be toxic, they can kill you. Even some like mega doses of vitamin C can kill you. If you have too many senescent cells, 
And if you, you take mega doses of uh, vitamin C, which some people do, some people uh, uh, just perish because uh, so quick uh, uh, killing of senescent cells or cancer cells produce so much toxins, so such so high level of toxins in the body, just they passed away. So it's again slowly, carefully understanding what you're doing and every time thinking about everything uh, that what uh, to be sure that you will not pass away, that it will work for you. And, and I do this what I do. Okay, have a wonderful day. Ciao. Till next time.